what's up guys welcome back to mr ted boss as you can see i'm running the latest version of pixel experience and this update dropped just a couple of hours ago so let's get into first impressions because this is a huge one all right so guys before we start please make sure to subscribe and like this video because it helps me a lot and i do bring on updates for roms on the redmi k20 pro now that you've done that let's get right in all right so guys let's get the basics out of the way the first thing and the biggest change is now the rom is based on miui vendor again and this is exactly what i was waiting for because os is, is just not stable yet but uh, other than that that is actually the biggest change that reduced like most of the bugs are now gone so let's get the basics out first so it comes with the june 5 patch which is the latest patch or security patch and then the kernel that it comes with is perf kernel you can change it with immensity because right now the uh, google assistant ok google command isn't working so if you want ok google working you can flash immensity and then it will work and this is just the latest build number now if you're wondering i am actually using pixel experience plus and you can try pe regular i recommend going with plus because it has a few extra features which are useful at times like a few other extra customizations i'll leave a link down below of the pe group so you can down uh, you can join it on telegram because there are it's like a really good support group like one of the best support groups i've ever seen and now as i said before why is this a huge update and that is because it fixes a lot of bugs which were there because of the oss vendor so now like anx camera although it isn't there by default you can flash the latest anx camera and v172 zip if you have any questions contact me on telegram which is also linked down in the description or you can also join my channel from the description but as you can see anx works totally fine and this is the one from miui 12 it works totally fine just now and obviously portrait mode and everything works totally fine i did test it you have to manu fl manually flash it via magisk though but other than that there were actually a lot more bugs i don't know the whole list but most of them are gone and also there was one bug which when you turn on dc dimming by the way it does work and so if you turn on dc dimming and night light it wouldn't work together there was just a bug so like if you it would just like like i don't know what exactly happened but night light and dc dimming wouldn't work together but now it does work because it's back to me i wonder and there was like like 20 huge list of bugs so that's like reduced i haven't tested i i actually don't know if there are any bugs right now so if you do know feel free to comment them down but i didn't notice it for how long i've been using it maybe a couple of hours i didn't notice a lot of bugs i actually didn't notice any bug but yeah now i want to show you some quick fingerprint speed test and it's fine nothing too special and not by bad either so as you can see it's not slow or not too slow and it's not that fast either it's fine the accuracy is pretty good also you if you don't know i actually was trying to see if i can change this lock screen clock because it looks ugly it's on top of the mountain so i went into settings and no it does not have an option to customize the clock so customizations are minimal so if you do want to customize it you will have to use substratum themes uh, like madness and many other flow door themes or stuff like that but yeah so customizations are uh, very limited now one great thing uh, pe plus has over the regular pe is uh, long extended screenshots this is ported straight from asus devices so if you hold the volume down and oh actually it didn't work right now for whatever reason let's see oh it's not working let's actually go into some app and see if it works yeah now it works it doesn't work on home screen for some reason so yeah this uh, this is a cool little addition it allows you to take extension screenshots and a bit bunch more options but yeah now obviously i don't have anything to talk about the battery hopefully it's good i wasn't able to test it because the rom was just released a couple of hours ago so i don't exactly know i recommend you guys to join the pe group from the link in the description also join my group from the link in the description because you can get a lot more information from there you can ask questions and hopefully someone will answer you especially on the pe group because it's a really good support group but yeah so battery life i don't exactly know hopefully it should be good i installed it in the morning uh there shouldn't be any data but let's see it's fine i mean you can't see anything because i haven't been using it for long enough 
now if you're wondering about the charging speed so let me show you uh, that real quick so it greatly depends on your temperature but as you can see i'm around 37 degrees and let's see how fast this charges so just give it a couple of seconds So as you can see, it's not charging super fast, but I guess that's due to the temperature. It should charge at around 3300, but it's showing 19 watts. I don't even know how that's possible. So don't really look at these stats, but charging shouldn't be a problem for you. So I'll also show you guys this stats in the app called Ampere. While I have it. All right, so as you can see, it's charging fine, not super fast, not the rated 3300, but this could be at nine volts. So nine volts, two amperes, also 18 watt. So charging speed should be fine. It also greatly depends on your temperature. Maybe my temperature is a bit too hot for, for say uh, five volt and uh, three amps, three point something, 3.3 amps or at five volts. Maybe it's too hot for that. So yeah, don't really worry about charging speeds. All right, so guys, now if you're wondering about the about face unlock, I did add it right now and it is a bit buggy. So let me show you. It does work, but it's quite buggy. So basically uh, that's what makes it kind of unusable. So you actually like sometimes when you go up, it just doesn't pop up. You have to go back and then oh, swipe up again. So yeah, it is a bit buggy right now. Hopefully it's fixed in the next build. So this is how you do it. You It just doesn't pop up right away. Like if I do like this, it doesn't pop. Sometimes it doesn't pop up. Sometimes it actually does work fine. You have to do it two times sometimes, but yeah, it is buggy. All right, uh, with that out of the way, let's quickly do a super fast app opening test. So, oh, I don't know why I locked it, but. So let's open these three, four apps that are on the dock. So yeah, once I did install this ROM, by the way, I noticed it is pretty smooth. So yeah, you don't need to worry about performance or smoothness. Although I haven't tested PUBG, it should be fine. If you do test it, let me know in the description if it's fine or not. But uh, yeah, that is basically about it. Let's move on to the installation. Guys, the first thing is you need to download the files that are down in the description. So that includes this file, which is the Pixel Experience uh, zip itself. Uh, that is also linked down in the description. And you also need to um, download DFE depending on whether you want to flash or you want to stay decrypted or encrypted. So if you don't want to stay in, if you actually do want to stay encrypted, you don't need the file DFE. But yeah, that is a uh, Th that's basically about it. If you are already on some other AOSP ROM, you also need to download Pass Reset and you also need to download Vendor. That is just a common requirement. So whatever you're coming from, you need to download the Vendor depending on your device. That is also going to be, I guess, join the Pixel Experience Group so you can get most of the help from there. But this is the process. So firstly, you need to go ahead into Data and Wipe and then System Delve Cache Data and Vendor. So just wipe it. I'm not going to do it because I've already flashed the ROM. So I'm recording the installation process now. So now let me show you what files you need to flash. Okay, so these are the files that you actually need to select. So first is the vendor and I'm using 11.0.8 because my device is Chinese. So if yours is, is Indian, you need to flash a different one. And that will also be linked down in the linked down in the description. So it's a one website. You can download the latest vendors depending on your devices. And next I'm flashing F2FS patch zip because I am using F2FS and not uh, regular ext4 and then so basically this if you're not using f2fs the second thing you should have is pixel experience the rom itself and the fourth thing should be dfe and then after that pass reset zip and then if you want to flash any other uh, migrate backups you can flash that too but uh, that is basically about it you just uh, do these and then swipe to flash and then if you do have any problems don't forget to comment down in the description or ask me on telegram but yeah that is basically about it if you're also wondering it does uh, come with the uh, advanced advanced restart menu i haven't turned that on but it is there in settings and developer options if you do want the advanced restart options all right so guys that is basically about it so if you're wondering what are the qa styles available these are all of them so like these ones and not these ones these are just there because i have a kernel manager so yeah that is basically about it if you're still watching thank you please don't forget to subscribe and like this video this is Salam from the tech boss signing off